at the legend of Haunchyville. Deep in the heart of an old, gnarled forest, shrouded in mist and whispers of the past, lies the forgotten enclave of Haunchyville. Once vibrant souls under the big top, these small-statured individuals found camaraderie in the circus ring. But beneath the sequins and smiles was a sinister undercurrent of maltreatment, orchestrated by a towering, cruel ringmaster known only as Blackwell. Years of torment and ridicule at the hands of Blackwell forged an unspoken bond among the performers. Their pain was a silent language only they could understand, and in that understanding, a plan for retribution was born. One fateful night, when the moon was nothing but a sliver in the sky, they enacted their revenge. What transpired was a thing of nightmares, whispers of which still echo through the caravans of traveling shows. After that night, the performers vanished, retreating into the depths of the ancient woods. There, they established Haunchyville, a sanctuary of sorts, a place where they could live free from the gawking eyes of the world. But freedom came at a cost. The once kind-hearted souls were twisted by their own hands, their quest for justice, leaving them with a blood debt that stained the very earth they settled upon. Travelers who unknowingly stumble upon the borders of Haunchyville speak of an eerie silence that befalls the woods, of a sensation of being watched by unseen eyes. Some have reported small figures lurking in the shadows, their features obscured, save for the glint of malice in their eyes. The legend of Haunchyville whispers that Blackwell's spirit still roams the forest, eternally seeking vengeance against those who wronged him. And the inhabitants, bound by their grim past, are said to protect their sanctuary with a ferocity that belies their stature. To this day, Haunchyville remains a tale told in hushed tones, a creepy reminder of the darkness that can dwell in the hearts of the wronged and a warning to those who wander where they are not welcome. As the legend grew, so did the allure of Haunchyville. Curious souls and thrill-seekers dared each other to venture into the woods, to glimpse the fabled community of the diminutive and the damned. But those who braved the journey seldom returned, and those who did came back with eyes wide with unspeakable fears, their voices trembling as they recounted fragmented tales of their encounters. The path to Haunchyville was not marked on any map. It was a trail blazed only by the foolhardy, a serpentine route that slithered through the densest parts of the forest. Ancient trees, their bark gnarled with age, formed a forbidding canopy, their twisted limbs blotting out the sky. The air was thick with an unsettling quiet a silence so profound that it seemed to roar in the ears of the intruders. It was said that the further one walked, the smaller everything seemed to become. The underbrush shrank to the ground, the leaves reduced to the size of whispers, and even the air itself felt compressed, as if the forest was constricting, ready to swallow any who dared to enter its domain. At the heart of Haunchyville lay the remnants of a twisted circus. Tattered tents stood in a grotesque salute to their former glory. Their stripes faded and frayed. Rusting cages lay open, their doors creaking in the wind as if echoing the freedom that was once robbed from their occupants. The center ring, now just a clearing encircled by dilapidated benches, held the ghosts of laughter and applause now turned to chilling drafts that brushed the skin with the cold fingers of the past. Here, the inhabitants of Haunchyville lived, though lived was perhaps too gentle a word for their existence. 
They were shadows flitting through the trees, figures hunched and twisted by their burdens. Their homes were cobbled together from the detritus of the circus. Wagons that once sparkled under the spotlight now sunk into the earth, as if trying to hide from the world above. The denizens of Haunchyville were not the cheerful circus folk of yesteryear. Their eyes were hollow, reflecting no light, and their smiles, when they dared to show them, were marred by a darkness that spoke of the terrible deed that had given them their freedom. They were bound together by a secret pact, an unspoken agreement that the outside world must never discover the true horror of what had transpired on the night they claimed their vengeance. The Ringmaster's demise was the stuff of grisly legend. It was said that Blackwell's screams could be heard echoing through the woods for nights on end, a symphony of agony that heralded the birth of Haunchyville. The performers had taken their tormentor and subjected him to the cruelties he had inflicted upon them tenfold. And when they were done, when the forest floor was soaked with the evidence of their liberation, they had severed his towering stature, limb by limb, until he was as small as they. But such brutality had a price. The land was cursed, poisoned by the violence that had occurred. And the performers, once victims, now bore the mark of their deeds. They could never leave Haunchyville, for the forest had claimed them, just as they had claimed it. Rumors abounded of a curse that afflicted anyone who crossed the threshold of Haunchyville. It was a curse of diminution, not of stature, but of soul. Those who entered with malice in their hearts found their spirits shriveled, their minds haunted by the vengeful ghosts of the circus. And so, Haunchyville remained, a place out of time, a community born of darkness and despair. A warning to all that sometimes, the cost of vengeance is a debt that can never be repaid.